the principle behind though, that war on drugs is that if we just punish hard enough, then people will stop using drugs and the harms that go along with drug use will fall away. And here's a slide, a graph from our colleagues at the European Monitoring Centre on Drugs and Drug Addiction. And if you look at this slide, it's the lines show trends in drug use, and the dashed lines are countries that, at year zero, the vertical line, increased the penalties for personal possession of cannabis. And the solid lines are countries which decreased the penalties for personal possession of cannabis. Now, if there were this imagined link between the harshness of punishment and reducing the levels of drug use, you would expect to be seeing the dashed lines go down and the solid lines go up. But what we see is not that relationship. What we see is technically known as noise, no signal, no relationship between the harshness of the punishment and the level of the drug use. So the harms we deliberately inflict on people in the name of the war on drugs are not producing the stated aim of the war on drugs, which is to reduce the levels of drug use. We spend billions of dollars, of pounds, of euros every year in chasing this dream that we can punish people out of using drugs. This is extremely harmful, not just to public pu budgets, but obviously to the people who are punished. We are deliberately inflicting pain upon them in the name of this war on drugs. And it doesn't work. So no wonder that, that people, including in Belgium, have been looking for alternative policies.